Good morning everybody, it's Kieran here from D-Side Limited. I am going to be doing a job today which involves regrouting a dark bathroom floor. The grout that's in the floor at the moment is uh, pretty much broken up. It's been there for about 12, 14 years. So the customer has asked me to take out the old grout and uh, redo the whole floor. Um, through the next piece of video I'm going to show you my tips and tricks, uh, how to do that and uh, I hope you enjoy. If you do then like and subscribe down below, um, hit that button and uh, I'll see you at the end of the video. So here we are bathroom floor as you can see uh, I have just started with the Dremel in the corner and uh, I'm going to show you how to do this so this is a 3.2 mil Dremel bit for grout removal glasses on gloves are handyman gloves and this is a Dremel 3000 useful little tool it allows me to get right into the corners and uh, clean out. I'm on half speed setting and just uh, kind of like driving the tip of the Dremel into the grout and then pulling it back towards me. That digs away at the grout. It releases it. So all you need to do is just work away at those um, at the edges of the room because my biggest trick is coming up a little later. And what that what I'm going to show you there is how to take out the main lines of grout in a room, whereas this is. Um, Basically, so you're just getting in towards all the edges. Another little example here. A different angle. I'm not wearing a mask at the moment because uh, the Dremel doesn't uh, necessarily throw up much dust. Now I have sped up this video. So it looks as if I'm absolutely flying through the, uh, the grout line, but um, it's quite slow work and you will definitely need knee pads because your knees after a while uh, all your weight is on your knees when you're holding a tremor like this so um, what I'm doing is just uh, probably coming back about 100 mil or uh, 4 four to four and a half inches four to five inches from the wall uh, which allows me to do what I will do afterwards which is basically um, use a grinder but here you can just see the movement that I'm that I'm doing. I haven't got the grout protection tool on it because uh, you wouldn't see what the actual Dremel bit is doing. So I've removed all that and I'm just using the bit uh, so you can actually see how it takes the, the grout out and how you should uh, work the tool in, in the grout line. It's really important just to take your time and clean up um, get all the dust out of the way. This is another view. This time I am wearing a dust mask. As you can see, I'm using uh, stretch handyman gloves. They are really good. I'll put them into the uh, description, a description, and I will put them in the, in the link below so you know what you're looking for. 
And if you purchase, fantastic. That always helps the site. Um, it's just a different angle, so you're actually looking up at what the the bit is doing as close as you possibly can. You can see how I'm moving it from top to bottom and then back, almost digging into the grout. So I've come away from this wall, probably five inch or a hundred mil again. And uh, I'm just working that back the other side so that I can um, bring in well, Hoover first and then my grinder. <coughs> this has got a porcelain cutting disc on it and you will see how fast it just takes out that grout line. It speeds the job up. by hours but you got to be really careful with this disc because the grinder is going at um, a phenomenal speed and um, it will cut the tile so all you want to do is run it down the grout line uh, very precise no shaky hands get nicely balanced with it Unfortunately, if you lose your balance with the grinder, then um, you're probably going to lose either part of your bathroom or part of yourself. So again, just running that down the grout line and finishing up. And here I am, I've put it uh, my camera up on a higher point just so you can see I'm trying to keep the hoover on the grout line but the amount of dust that this uh, throws up is um, impressive which is why I am wearing a dust mask and uh, trying to keep the hoover on the grout line so it sucks in some of the dust anyway And yes, I'm sure there are much better tools out there. If Makita are listening, then uh, maybe they'd like to give me something to try. That would be great. I wouldn't mind trying out some of these new dust extracting tools. As you can see, I've cut one way and now I'm going the other way, uh, just to join up. Make sure everything is out of your way and clean, so that you're not tripping over anything or the grinder isn't going to hit anything as you draw it down the grout line. Just touch the side of the tile now. Luckily that's the inside on the grout line, so it hasn't marked the top. There you go, that's it. That brings us to the end of the job. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope that some of that was useful to you. Uh, really look forward to making the next piece and um, you know let me know what you think in the comments below I've put a list of the tools and stuff that I use um, so uh, as always like and subscribe and uh, catch you on the next one